Hey everyone, how's it going? For today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to draw a garden of Ban Ban Surprise Fold. So hope you follow along and enjoy this video today. Now to start off with our garden of Ban Ban Surprise Fold, let's begin by folding our paper. I'm going to take my paper and line up the corners, then I'm going to fold it in half like I'm making a birthday card. Next, I'm going to take my paper and I'm going to line up the corners one more time and give it another fold like this. That way it kind of looks like a big bookmark. Now when I open it up, I have these nice little guidelines in here that show me where to keep the inside of my drawing. And I always like to turn my paper like this so I can open it down. Now to start off with our picture, we're going to begin by making a Jumbo Josh. So let's start with his mouth. So I'm going to start right about here, and we're going to make a line that's going to go up, it's going to come over, and then down. So I'm going to start right here, we're just going to go up, we're going to bring this over, and then we're going to bring this down. Now starting here, I'm going to draw a line that's going to come down. I'm going to go over and then bring this up. Now I'm going to add some teeth inside here. So I'm going to start right here and I'm just going to draw some teeth that go down, over, and then up. And I'm going to do this all the way across. So we're just going to make some teeth that just go down, over, and then up. And we're going to do this all the way across here. And we'll do one right here at the end. Now I'm going to do the same thing down here at the bottom. We're just going to go up, over, and then down. So we're just going to continue this all the way across. We're just going to go up, over, and down all the way across to give Jumbo Josh some nice big teeth. And we'll end it right there. Now right up here I'm going to make two eyes. So I'm going to start by making a circle shape right here. So I'm going to begin by making a circle that just comes right here for an eye. Then I'm going to leave some space and I'm going to make another circle right here for the other eye. Inside of here I'm going to make another circle shape for the pupil. And I'll do one right inside of here, another pupil. Now I'm going to make a small circle inside of each pupil just for a little bit of a reflection. And then you can just go ahead and color in this larger circle of the pupil right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and just color this part in just like this. Our next step is we're going to make the top of the head of Jumbo Josh. So we're going to start here. We're going to make lines going to go up, over, and then down. So I'm going to start here, we're just going to go up, we're going to come over, and then bring it down to here. Next I'm going to bring this line down and I'm going to curve it in. Then I'll do the same thing over here, I'm just going to bring this line down and then curve it in. Next starting here I'm going to make a little line that comes in at an angle on each side. And then I'm just going to draw a line that's going to curve down on each side for the shoulders. And then I like to add a couple little detail lines. I like to put a little line on each side and then a little line underneath here. Now our next step of the drawing is to open it up and add all the fun details inside of here. Now once we have this opened up, you can see that we have two halves of our Jumbo Josh and we're going to start adding details right inside of here. So we're going to do some different Garten of Bam Bam characters in here. So the first character I want to start with is going to be Captain Fiddles since he's kind of short. So I'm going to begin right here and I'm going to start off by making a circle for an eye. Then I'm going to leave some space and then I'm going to make another circle for an eye right over here. I'm going to make a smaller circle inside of each eye for the pupils. And then we can go ahead and color this part in. 
So we're just going to color in both pupils, just like that. Now, underneath here, we're going to make the mouth. So I'm going to start by making a nice big smiley face. Then I'm going to curve it around and I'll make another smiley face shape just like this. Then I'll make a little triangle shape on each side for some teeth. Let's make a big sad face shape that goes right across the top. And then I'm going to draw a line that's going to come out and it's going to come out to here. And then same thing, we're going to go out and then come out a little farther. I'm going to bring this line out here and I'm going to curve it in. Then I'll make another one that's just going to curve around and up. Same thing, I'm going to bring this out and kind of curve around and do one more that's going to kind of curve back up. Then I'm going to bring this line down and up, and we'll bring this line down and up to about here. Next, I'm just going to bring this line down on each side. And we don't want to go past that little fold. Next, starting up here, I'm going to draw Ban Ban right above Captain Fiddles. So to start off with Ban Ban, I'm going to begin right about here, and I'm going to make two circles for the eyes. So I'm going to start right here, and I'm going to make a circle for an eye. Then I'm going to leave a little bit of space, and then I'll put another circle for an eye right here. I'm going to make a circle inside of each one for the pupils. And then I'm just going to go ahead and color each pupil in. Now for the mouth, let's make a little line that's just going to curve down and then back up and down. Then I'm going to bring it a little farther down on each side. We'll make a little sad face right here for the top of the tongue. And then we're going to go ahead and draw a line that's going to come down and then up for the tongue. And then just bring this line right over to here. Now, starting here, I'm going to draw a line that's going to come up to a point, and then it's going to come down. And then I'll do the same thing here. I'm going to bring this up to a point, and then we'll bring this down. Next, go ahead and then connect it right there. And then we'll make two little lines that come across the bottom. Then starting here, let's draw a few diagonal lines on each one. We'll do three diagonal lines on each one of these kind of little horns. Now, starting here, I'm going to draw a line that's going to come out, and it's going to kind of curve down a little bit. Same thing here, we're going up, and then we're just going to curve down. We're going to make a couple little bumps on the end here for the fingers. So just a few little bumps here. Next, I'm going to bring this down and then back up. Same thing, kind of down and then back up to make those arms a little bit more chubby. Then I'm going to bring this line down on each side for the body. Now, over here, I'm going to draw Nab Nab. Now, to start off with Nab Nab, I'm going to begin by making a circle right here for one of the eyes. Then I'll make another circle right here. And then one more circle right here, since he has three eyes. Then I'm going to make a smaller circle on the left side of each one. And then we're going to go ahead and color in that pupil inside each one, just to make the pupil nice and dark. Now 
Next, starting here, I'm going to make a circle shape for the mouth. And then we're going to add some teeth. Let's make a little V shape here. And then a triangle here. And we'll make two more triangles here. And then two more right here for the inside of the mouth. For the head, let's draw a nice big upside down U shape for the head. And then I'm going to make a line that's going to come up to here. And then a line that's just going to come out to here. And then we're going to bring this down. Then we'll make a line that's going to come up and then over. And we'll draw a little line down for the body. At the top, let's make a nice little triangle shape for his horn. And then I'm going to make two diagonal lines across here. Now, over on the other side, we're going to add Sheriff Toadster. Now, to draw Sheriff Toadster over here, we're going to begin with the eyes. So I'm going to start right here, and I'm going to make a circle for an eye. Then I'm going to leave a little bit of space, and I'll make another circle for an eye right here. I'm going to draw a little circle inside of each one, and I'm just going to color this in for the pupil. Now, Sheriff Toaster has a really big smile, so let's begin by drawing a big smiley face shape like this. And then I'm going to curve it around and make that smiley face shape really wide like this. Then we're going to draw a few lines inside of here for the teeth. Now starting here, I'm going to draw a line that's going to curve around. And we're going to come right to about the middle here. And then I'm going to continue this around here. We're just going to curve it around and then bring it to here. We'll make a line down here and then a line down here. And then we'll just bring this line over to here a little bit. Right here for his arm, let's draw a line that comes out. We'll make a little bump for a finger. And then I'm going to make one, two, and then three more little bumps. And then a line that comes down here. Now for the top of the head, we're going to make lines going to come up and down. And then one more, up and then down here. Then we're going to draw his little hat. To draw us hat, we're just going to draw a little skinny oval shape like this. And we're going to add a small little rectangle on top of it. Now, our next character that we're going to draw is we're going to put Stinger Flynn right over here. Now, to draw Stinger Flynn, we're going to begin by making a circle right here for the eye. And this one's going to be a little bigger than the other ones. And then we're going to make a circle inside of here for the pupil, and we're just going to color this in real quick. Now, starting here, I'm going to make a nice, big, sad face shape. And then all across the bottom, I'm going to make these little smiley face shapes all the way across here. Starting here, I'm going to draw a line that's going to come down, and we're going to jump around here. We're going to curve it around and then bring it back for one of the tentacles. And then same thing here, I'm going to bring this down, curve it around, and I'm just going to bring this back up here. Next, I'm going to bring this line down to here. 
and then back up. I'll draw another one that's just going to come down and another one down here. Let's bring it to there. Then I'm going to draw a tentacle down here with two lines and then one more right here with two lines. Now, the last one we're going to draw is the Oplia bird. And I don't know if I said that right, but hopefully it's okay. Now, to start off with this, I'm going to begin right here. So I'm going to start by making a circle for an eye. I'm going to leave a little bit of space, and I'll make another circle for an eye right here. Then once again, I'll, I will make two little circles inside of here for the pupils, and I will just color them in. Now for the top of the head, I'm going to bring a line that's just going to come up and then I'm going to bring it down. Then I'm going to bring a line down here. And then I'm going to come in and down. Then starting here, we're just going to draw a line that curves up to here for the back. Now for the beak, I'm just going to draw a line that's going to come down and then I'm going to curve it back and then I'll make a little curve line right here. I'm going to draw one, two, and three little hairs. Now for the wing, let's draw a line that curves down. Then I'm going to curve this up and down, up and then down, and then back up. Now I'm going to curve a little line down for the rest of the bird. And then right here we'll draw one of the feet. I'll draw a little line that's going to come down, out and in, and then one more out and in for the foot. Now, we got all the characters inside of here. Now our last thing we have to do is we're going to draw the rest of Jumbo Josh's mouth. So I'm going to start right here, and I'm going to draw a line that's going to go down. Then I'm going to kind of hover over everything, and then bring it right to about here. I'll do the same thing on this side. We're just going to go down. We're going to jump over everything, and then we'll bring it right to about here. Then we're going to do the same thing here. I'm just going to bring this down. We're just going to kind of jump over everything, and then connect it. And then same thing here. We're just going to come down right to here, and then we'll just connect it. And there you go, there is your drawing of a Garden of Bam Bam surprise fold. So when we have it all folded up, we have Jumbo Josh with his big mouth, and then when we open it up, we have all the characters inside of there. And there you go. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed.